everyone and welcome to STEM Powered Kids Week. My name is Taylor and today we're going to be learning how to make our own secret ciphers. Before we get started, uh, you will need a couple different things to complete this activity. First, you'll need the worksheet that was included in the link with this video, but don't worry. If you weren't able to get that or you can't print it, just follow along with any piece of paper that you find around the house. Second, you'll need a pen, a marker, or a pencil um, to follow along with this activity as well. So, before we dive into our activity, let's talk a little bit about the history behind ciphers. Ciphers date back all the way to the ancient Greeks in 400 BC, in which military commanders would use ciphers to encode or make secret military messages. So if captured by the, mili by the military enemies, um, the enemies were unable to read those messages. So fast forward all the way to today, and ciphers are used as the basis of what is now called cryptography. Um, and this is used in our phones and our computers, and you may have heard about it in school or on TV. Um, but this is very important because it does what is called encrypt our data and our information. And encrypt basically does the same thing as what ciphers do, which is make secret or hide information. And as many of you may guess, this is important nowadays to protect our personal information, like our names, our addresses, our social security numbers online. Um, and so encryption and ciphers provide a very important piece of our technology society today. So what we'll be doing in our activities is a lot more closer to what the ancient Greeks did. Um, we will be learning two different types of ciphers, the Caesar cipher and the substitution cipher. We will um, create our cipher key, we will practice it, and then we will finish off by writing our own secret messages in both types of ciphers. So I'm very excited to get started and let's start with the Caesar cipher. Onto our STEM powered secret cipher. Caesar cipher is the first one we will be practicing and first we're going to create our cipher key. And so you'll see we have two rows of two more rows. Uh, and in the top row of each box, you will write out the letters of the alphabet in regular order until you go from all the way from A to Z. And an important thing to note about the Caesar cipher is that not only is it similar to the substitution cipher in which you are also using letters in your cipher, um, but you will transpose them over. So you will transpose them over three letters. So in this bottom row, you're going to count one, two, three, D. And so under A, you will put the letter D. And then under B, you will put the letter E and continue the alphabet regularly from there. This is what is known as a Caesar cipher, in which you transition the letters over by three. And this is what Julius Caesar came up with um, to encode his military messages, and that is why we call it the Caesar cipher today. So you will continue to fill out your cipher key, your cipher row. We finish on Z but you still have three letters left, so you start over at A and end on C. Great. So, as you'll notice, the top rows in both boxes are the regular alphabet, and your bottom row is your cipher alphabet. And so, now we're gonna move on to testing our cipher. Be sure to pick something very simple, a word. Today, I'm going to pick my name, and so first I'll write out my name like I normally do. T-A-Y-L-O-R. And now I'm going to look at my cipher key and I'm going to find the letters to replace my regular letters. So for T, I am going to put a W. For A, I'm going to put D. And so on and so forth. And so you do the same thing, write out your name or write out a simple word to practice your cipher key. And so once we get this complete, we have our complete cipher name or our complete cipher translation of the word that you wrote. 
And so if you have the worksheet, we're going to transfer it over to the new box and write just our cipher word. This way, no one will be able to decode it without our secret cipher key. So great job following along. Next, we're going to start writing our secret message. So if you have the worksheet from the link, you have gotten this letter template, and you will use this to write your encoded letter. Be sure to practice on a piece of paper because you want to have only your cipher code on your letter. Now we're going to move on to our substitution cipher. So it's going to be very similar. We're going to start by creating our cipher key. Again, on the top rows, you will write out the letters of the alphabet in regular order. And so the substitution key or substitution cipher is very similar to the Caesar cipher. Um, but instead of transitioning the letters over three, you can substitute any letter for any other letter that you'd like. So you can do random order, you can do the alphabet backwards. Uh, once you finish filling out the regular alphabet, now we're going to take a look at our cipher row. And so for today, I decided that I'm going to do the alphabet backwards for my cipher key. So for A, I'm going to put Z, for B, I'm going to put Y, and so on and so forth. And so I'm going to fill out my cipher with the alphabet backwards. But again, you can do it however you'd like. You could do random order of letters. Um, you can do it uh, starting in the middle of the alphabet and um, however you'd like. But just remember that you need to make sure that each letter is accounted for and you don't repeat. Otherwise, your cipher won't work. So once we finish out our um, cipher key, we will be ready to um, take a look at the regular alphabet, take a look at our cipher key, and then test it. So again, I'm going to use my name. I suggest that you pick a really simple word, maybe your name, maybe your favorite um, food, and you write it out in your regular way of writing. So I wrote my name. And then you go to your cipher key and you pick the letter in your cipher key for that. So for T, I have G, for A, I have Z, and so on and so forth. And this will create the ciphered version of the word that you wrote. And so as I finish this up, we're going to take a look at the final cipher word. And again, if you have the worksheet or if you're working on a blank piece of paper, transfer over just the cipher version of the word that you wrote. So my name is G-Z-B-O-L-I. And now this is important because we're going to start writing our secret message um, on the letter. So we're pulling over our letter and this is where you will practice your substitution cipher letter. Again, make sure you use scratch paper. Great work today, guys.